having to deal with a urinary catheter and a collection bag is not fun. Especially if you wake up one day and instead of the usual yellow color in the bag, you see purple. That can trigger some shockwaves. But actually, purple urine bag syndrome is more or less a benign condition with some interesting chemical features. The purple color is due to indigo, the same indigo that is used to dye jeans. However, the indigo in the urine doesn't come from any dye seeping into the body from genes. It comes from the diet, indirectly. Tryptophan is one of the essential amino acids we must get from the diet because our body cannot make it. That, though, is not a problem because it is found virtually in all proteins. When tryptophan enters the digestive tract, it is converted by bacteria that inhabit the intestines into indole, and this is absorbed into the bloodstream and passes to the liver. Here, some indole is converted to a colorless compound, indoxyl sulfate, that is then excreted in the urine. However, should there be certain bacteria present in the urinary tract, as in case of a urinary tract infection, they can convert indoxyl sulfate into indigotin and indirubin. The latter two are natural components of indigo as found in the indigo plant. Indigotin is blue, indirubin is reddish, so when these mix with uh, urobilin, the decomposition product of hemoglobin that is responsible for the yellow color of urine, presto, we have purple. In most cases of urinary tract infection, there is not enough purple to be seen. But in case a catheter is present, bacteria can colonize its surface and produce enough indigotin and indirubin to produce purple urine. Treatment with antibiotics and changing the catheter usually solves the problem. You see how interesting chemistry can be? Now you have learned that in some cases, we actually pee indigo. And that for today is our cup of joe.